please summarize this user interview for me colon let's enter i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna copy and paste this now while this process is i want to add the caveat here that if i had not listened to this i'd be much more scared of trusting what chap chat gpt would provide me but because in this case i'm assuming that as a researcher i've listened to the actual interview myself then uh it's more just to see if it gets the key points or jogs my memory with anything. honestly this is a pretty dope job <laughs> of the summary like there are many things here you'll see for example uh the twitter thing comes up uh over here uh ooh, how did it uh wait what I could swear. Oh, wow, that's crazy. I didn't actually use the word Twitter. I said tweeted and I forgot that I did that. So that's pretty impressive. So that it knows that I used Twitter because I said tweeted, I guess that's kind of cool. Um, and then in this question, uh, I'm a nervous flyer. I don't know if it captures that. Uh, it doesn't seem to, but it does capture that uh, I don't want to fly with multiple airlines, I think. No. Because I guess that's not super important to the story, honestly. What's more important is uh, that I don't like using these apps because I, I call this a user interview. So let's say here, um, give me the key points in bullet point uh, in bullets. Okay, so this is where it gets a little bit less interesting, I guess, is that it is already, it's kind of just breaking down the summary into bullet points for me, which is probably not um, what I meant by give me the key points and bullets. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, which apps did the user reference? Now, this is where it starts to get really good. Uh, if this works, Expedia and Hopper, they mentioned using Expedia to purchase. Ah, see, this, this is fire. This is really, really fire. Um, because that's the kind of thing that sometimes you'll miss a word or you won't remember who said something, but you know it was said somewhere. So let's say, how many times did the user refer to Expedia? Let's see how good it is at that. Twice. That's also amazing. What are this user's positive experiences? Let's see what this does. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh huh. Wow. Right. So there's actually a few things that are that are coming up now because I did actually mention somewhere in the interview that I use I download the apps uh, for the boarding tickets. So I say here, you can see, uh, I, I install and uninstall the app, but it doesn't seem to capture that, which is odd, right? So it only said, so even though I, I said earlier that it's really cool that it mentioned Expedia and Hopper, it didn't seem to capture the fact that I install and uninstall airline apps. So let me see if this thing can actually capture that. Does this user use airline apps? Hmm. Oh, huh. So then when I said, uh, which apps did they refer to? It only said two travel apps. Interesting. So what happens if I ask it again now? How many apps, uh, what apps does this user use and for how long? Let's try this now. Uh-huh. So it seems to have forgotten <laughs> everything about Expedia and Hopper. And so I think this actually points to something else with the with these models is as as uh seemingly intelligent as they may seem for some of this stuff. Uh I it, they get biased very quickly uh with the the flow of the conversation. So um 
it's good for capturing some basic stuff. It's almost like the way you use Google is the way we can start to imagine using something like that. If ChatGPT was embedded inside of an app like Dovetail, where you have your user interviews and then you can query it to extract certain things and then it shows you the highlights and then based on, so this was somehow connected to this side of the screen and it would highlight to me the things it mentioned and from there I can read around it I think that would be really really good particularly if it can sample all the interviews I have and then it can say summarize everything about Expedia summarize everything about Hopper um, and perhaps then combine that with something like a command F across the board. So then here I can see Expedia. I said it four times, uh, even though uh, the app says I mentioned Expedia twice, but that could just be because um, I was referring to it in the, same, in the same experience here, which is true. So, and then these other Expedias are actually uh, the question so in fact it did count correctly hmm. so that's really interesting as well so now I kind of want to find out uh, what is the single biggest problem this user has okay well it's not very good at single wow 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 uh, <laughs> right dislike their interfaces do not believe they have the best price and have had negative experience with the customer okay I mean, honestly, this was a pretty short experiment, uh, but I'm impressed. I'm impressed. It's uh, clear that you can use a tool like this to summarize an interview, uh, at least to get some key highlights, particularly if you're short on time. So I'm, uh, I'm inclined to say that this is a pretty big win, and I didn't expect it to go this well, uh, especially the first time it did the summary. It really caught the main point. I mean... When we came back to the key bullet points here, it just sort of broke the summary up into bullet points, but that's kind of expected uh, given the way the system works. Although from a human, I wouldn't expect it to do that because that's almost like insulting my intelligence, you know? Uh, then the fact that it can count the, app, the travel apps, not the airline apps was interesting. I guess because I said, which apps did the user reference? I almost wish if I could redo this, uh, and ask it again what would happen the second time. So uh, that that would, I'd be curious because I know it processes things differently based on the order of questions that you ask it. Counting the number of times someone refers to something, asking it about positive experiences, uh, asking it questions that are specific about this. Yeah, this is uh, probably where this model is strongest as opposed to Having it generate things is almost like having it like analyze something instead uh, that is already existing and then fed to it. So um, that's pretty impressive. And uh, I, I think personally, if this was already in a tool like Dovetail, I'd probably be using it all the time because half the time I'm analyzing an interview, it's not so much that I want a summary. It's more that I'm trying to remember oh yeah that person mentioned this app what did they say about it or oh yeah like this guy really hated this thing what were the three things they hated that's more the way i want to use the tool as opposed to um you know just ignore everything and and you know have someone else conduct the interview and then have this spit out the summary for me i want it to be an aid after i've conducted an interview and then compare uh, things with it so that I can better jog my own memory and uh, better examine the different interviews that I've done. So there you go, ChatGPT summarizing text. Pretty awesome, uh, honestly. And, um, you know, maybe soon we can see a tool that integrates this. Uh, or maybe you can just use it to copy and paste different text into it, uh, provided you're allowed to or even just articles or books or something that you want to summarize and get some pretty effective summaries from it. So that's it. Uh, I hope you guys found this experiment interesting and I'm going to continue digging into not just ChatGPT, but other UI tools to see how our tools of thought around UX uh, can improve and uh, get better with time. Cheers.